Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. In this uh, episode, quick episode, um, we just got our new Radex blinds in, so I'm going to give you a snap preview on how to put these bad boys together. And uh, this is the third one that we're done. I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you the cranking and whatever. You don't want to see that, but uh, I'm going to try to do the best I can to go through the steps and then at the end of each step maybe talk through tips and tricks or watch outs um, or problems that I had. So stay with us and uh, hope you enjoy. Okay this unboxing um, the kit comes in three boxes it's very well labeled one of, two of, three, three of, three etc. So not going to mess that up uh, but these boxes are pretty heavy so just look reading these real quick uh, box one is about 150 pounds, uh, box two is 100 pounds, and box three is about 100 pounds. So you're talking, you know, 250, 350 pounds of, uh, of uh, metal, mostly. So stay with us. We're going to go through each one of these boxes. All right, box number one. Box number one comes with your pads that go onto your platform. These are super nice. Um, allow for some insulation and are super quiet um, when you're getting in and out of your stands or fidgeting in your stands. You're also getting some other parts. Most of these parts, and again this is my third one so I'm recognizing them. Most of the parts that looks like in box number one are going to be associated to your uh, platform. Your platform itself, the leg holders, I believe this is part of the ladder and the platform to get onto it and then your ladder itself. I also see a big bag of uh, wrenches and uh, nuts and bolts and uh, some instructions. So that's box number one. All right, box number two, number two of, num of three. Um, open this up again, all the pieces are labeled. And again, uh, from experience, most of the pieces in box number three are part of the stand itself. Um, and again, on this Radex blind, you can make it a 5-foot stand or a 10-foot stand. We're going to make this a 10-foot stand. And also, I believe in here is um, the canopy. Uh, this is a soft, a soft canopy, like a tent that goes over the top, but it has a uh, metal frame that um, it wraps around and is secured by. So, in box number two is most of your stand and your canopy framework. Box number three. Box number three has our tent, which is awesome. And uh, I was wrong about box number two. The canopy itself that the tent goes on on the platform is in box number three. In addition to that, it looks like the hardware um, for putting the canopy together is also in box number three. So uh, when we get to this step, um, we'll talk more about it. All right, um, unboxing these, just a uh, you know, tip here. All of the parts are numbered really nice. You know, almost all the parts have a number on it. This one's number seven, for example. And then our bag of goodies, um, they are also labeled. So this is bolt number A. Um, bolt number E, et cetera, et cetera. All right, tools needed for this job. Um, all of the nuts are Teflon coated, which means when you tighten these bad boys up, they're gonna stay where they're um, supposed to be and not loosen up over time. I highly, highly recommend that the first time you go through and put this together that you leave most of the bolts 
loose or leave the bolts loose until you're done with the step because some of the tolerances on this thing are not the greatest and you need that slop in there and it's going to save you some time from going back and tighten things up. Um, also, if you don't have a, an elect, a good electric drill or driver set, now would be the time to talk to your wife and go get one because this is going to cut hours off your time. Um, all of the bolts and nuts are either half inch or metric wise 13 millimeter. Um, and then what I like to do is when I do tighten up the bolts, I like to take a paint marker or, you know, a, in this case it's a silver Sharpie and mark the bolt and nut um, in a way that I know it's been tightened. That way when I go back and inspect it, um, if I see a bolt or nut that's not tightened or, or painted, then I can go back and inspect it and tighten it up. Just some tips going into this, uh, into this build. Thanks for watching. Step one, which is basically building and uh, putting the reinforcement in in your platform. So you've got two pieces of uh, square angle iron here, item number 20, and then you got one piece, I think it's item number 21, that's a longer piece. And then the only watch out here is, is uh, this loop has to be down. This is where you tie in uh, the platform to a uh, anchor that goes in the ground. So this is the bottom of the platform. Other than that, um, that's your platform and um, it's heavy, it's awkward, and uh, it's a two-person job. Okay, so uh, we just finished step two, which was adding the legs. I think the manual does a good job of doing that. However, you know, I think there could be two potential things that could go wrong. One is Make sure that you're putting the legs on the bottom side, which is the same side as you put the braces, and that the angle of the legs go outward. Um, what we're building is, uh, the platform is the top of the pyramid, and the legs are going to go, as they, get, as they get closer to the ground, they're going to get wider apart. So you're looking for that angle to go out and build that pyramid from a stand standpoint. On to step three. Um, for step three, I'm going to do this a little bit different um, than what the manual calls for because we're putting this up in the woods and um, we're going through trees and down a hill and I'm going to use my tractor forks to get it down there so uh, space is, is a challenge. So I'm going to go, the next step here is, even though it doesn't call for it, I am going to go to the step that uh, we're building the canopy. Next step, uh, before we put the canopy on, it looks like I'm going to be able to put the step, I'm sorry, not the step, but the platform and then the uh, handles for the platform um, on the unit. So again, I'm looking at figure three and figure four in the manual, but uh, this is platform step assembly. Okay, um, again, this was the next step. And then uh, the final step that I want to do before I take this out in the woods, uh, again, because of the height constraint and the uh, area that I'm putting it in the woods to build it, is build the mechanical canopy on top. So I'm going to switch to doing the mechanical build in the van. Final stages, we just got to put the top on this uh, canopy. Um, and once I get the top on here, I'll uh, give you a walkthrough of it.
just so you can get a visual of what the canopy should look like when you're done with it. Again, I can't stress enough that uh, make sure you're not tightening your bolts up until you get all of the pieces put together and then go back and tighten them because you really need that uh, flexibility to get things lined up. All right, this is the finished canopy frame and, and the platform. So again, I think if you follow the instructions, um, it's going to go pretty smooth for you. And then uh, just make sure that you don't lose this bolt. There's only one that comes with it and it's extra long. And if you lose it, just let's go to the hardware store because it needs to be super long to get through uh, all eight of those uh, angle irons. All right, we've got the platform and the canopy structure built. So what I've got is I've got on my John Deere tractor some forks. I forked it. I put a, a strap uh, from the front, pulling it in tight and firm up against the bucket. And then I've got another strap on the side going through my bucket and around, pulling it in and down. So um, we should be in great shape. I'll give you a little bit of a 360 view of this um, so you can get a feel of what this thing looks like at this stage of construction. stand up in the in the cabin and then uh, or the garage and then bring it down and assemble it here but it just wasn't worth it and we couldn't logistically get it here with the trees and the path that we had to go down so um, as you saw earlier we did we did bring the platform and the canopy um, down here and uh, you saw some video of that and that worked great um, and then we built the legs here at, um, down below Two thoughts on building the stand. Um, one is on page 11 in your manual, I believe, and I think I had the same problem on the previous uh, stands, um, you do not use the number nine piece, you use the number eight piece. Um, and you're gonna find that out either way because if you use the number nine piece, um, the holes do not match up in this cross bracket here. So. Um, they want you to put a number nine piece and then a number eight piece here when in fact it should be flip-flopped um, to make sure you match match these holes. So that's a big watch out. I know in the first stand that I put together, it took a long time to figure that out on this one. Uh, kind of jarred my memory and, uh, and we got to the solution a little bit quicker. But um, I cannot, I cannot, uh, you know, give you uh, warning enough that uh, Two people is really going to be extremely helpful here during this process and um, take your time in doing it and uh, be careful and be safe and we're going to get a few drinks in us and uh, fire and uh, we're going to put this up tomorrow give you some final footage all right as you can see we're getting close to the final touches in addition to the uh, hunting hut from raid x we bought the deluxe hunting seat, which I would highly recommend. Very comfortable, very reasonable. Um, you can adjust the height, and it doesn't matter what stand you're in. If you're not comfortable and you're moving around, the deer are going to see you and you're, you're done. But um, a great build. I think all in, we're at about six hours total. We took a couple breaks. I did get a little bucky on the stand and uh, kind of lost track of what bolts I was using, which come back to bite me in the ass on the ladder. But uh, one trip to the hardware store and eight bolts later, I'm, 
I'm done and complete. So good luck with this. Tried to give you the best advice in uh, building this. They're great products for the price. And uh, we love them. We're converting from tree stands to these uh, from a safety standpoint and from a comfortability and warmth standpoint. So, um, you know, give, give your other dumbass a call. Uh, dumbass number two is a Radex dealer. So give him a call. I'll include that information in the video. But thank you for watching. And be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. <music>